Herkese merhaba. Bugün e, sorry yedi yolu anlatacağım. So you've messed up. Ayıva ya yedin. You've caused a problem. What can we do about it? Of course, we can say sorry. This is very normal English. Oh, I'm sorry. But at the same time, in British culture, we're always apologizing. British and Canadian culture, it's very normal to apologize, even if we did nothing wrong. Sorry is a very used word. I find in Turkey, we don't usually apologize a lot. It's, we find an excuse, a bahane, a reason that something happened. But in English, we like to take responsibility. So when we say sorry, it's part of our daily language. So if we were really apologizing for something, we tend to use different phrases. And today I will explain them to you. First one is just saying, I'm sorry I didn't do something. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't call you back. I'm sorry that I missed your party. Okay. You're apologizing, you're saying sorry for what you did, and you might even give a reason. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. I was shooting a Cambly video. Right? It's so important not just to say sorry, but to give a, a full explanation. Then we know that this is a real apology. The second one is if you're on the metro bus, okay? if you are on public transport, and accidentally you hit somebody, or you turn around and your bag hits somebody, you might say something like, oh, do excuse me, or excuse me. Number three, a formal way of apologizing, simply saying, oh, my apologies. My apologies for not replying to your email sooner. This is a very, very formal way, but nice way of apologizing. If you want to make it a little bit longer, You could say, I do apologize for. When we add the do, it's kind of exaggeration or emphasis. I do apologize for. Or, please accept my apologies for not speaking more clearly on this video, for example. An informal way, when you're with your friends, is saying, oops, my bad. We use this a lot. If it's something that you should apologize for, that's not a big deal. Or, oh, Alex, I forgot to put sugar in your coffee, my bad. Okay, it's no problem. I can get some sugar for myself. But it's something they forgot. Okay, If they didn't buy me a birthday present, then I will be upset. You can't use my bad. It's a big deal. Of course, it's my birthday. But for small things, oops, my bad. It's very normal. Number six, here we start to get into the apology culture in British English. Here we're going to use an apology sarcastically, ironically. If somebody is making too much noise, or someone is being annoying in a cafe, for example, we might apologize to them. Or, oh, I'm really sorry to bother you. What it really means is, they are bothering me. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. It means they are talking too much. Okay? It's kind of turning the apology. It's making me look polite for apologizing because they are rude. This is very British culture. You might also say, oh, I do beg your pardon. All right. This is, again, a very passive aggressive way of apologizing for something they are doing wrong you are turning the apology around you are saying hey i'm apologizing because you are being rude and you are not apologizing this is very british culture okay i do beg your pardon young lady okay maybe between a mother and her son so in these examples you got some very formal and informal ways to apologize You also learned the way we use apologies is slightly different in Britain 
US, Canada, than in Turkey. So practice them with your Cambly teachers. Start trying to think about other ways. Don't just say, oh, sorry, I'm late. Think of other ways that you might use it. As you practice it more, you will understand more and your English will become more fluent. Cambly'de benimle ve dünyanın her yerinden eğitimlerle konuşmak için bu kodu deneyin.